Hey everybody, Mac here. Welcome back to the show. What we have today is more blind bags. And I gotta be honest, I haven't been this excited about a, a blind bag series since we had the DC series, what was that, last year? Two years ago? I can't remember. But this, as you can see, is the Muppets. And if, if you remember last year when we got 123 Sesame Street and how excited I was for that, and how great I thought that set was. You can imagine how excited I am for the Muppets. The Muppets were huge in my family. They, it was, I grew up with the Muppets. Like I grew up at the time when the Muppet Show was on the air on Friday nights, and it was the years of the Dark Crystal and Labyrinth, and Jim Henson was just all over the place. And the Muppet Show was great. The Muppet movies were fantastic. And even when Jim Henson passed away, I can still remember getting ready for school and finding out on the radio as I was getting ready that he had passed the night before. And I just remember how devastated I was because the Muppets were such an important part of my life, of my childhood at the time. So when I found out that Lego was doing a Muppet series of blind bag minifigures, I was really excited about this. Like, this is going to be a huge crossover for me because all of these guys are going to populate 123 Sesame Street. So I've just recently got these in, in my area. And actually, when I went to the store and I picked these up, there were only six bags to begin with. And I'm pretty sure the other two were doubles of something that I have here. So I know usually I do them in sets of four anyway, but this time I just happened to not have a choice. So, without further ado, let's get these open, let's see what we got, and I'm, I, like I said, I am just really excited to see what we're getting into with this line. And our first one out is, oh, we got Gonzo. Oh, what a way to start this. And he has Camilla. <laughs> Look at that tie. <laughs> Look at how gaudy this is. That is fantastic. Jalapeno peppers on the shirt. I'm not exactly sure what that is on his pants, if it's just like supposed to be corduroy or some kind of design. That loud, loud belt. Oh, this looks fantastic. And of course we have Gonzo and his big schnoz right here. This was a great way to start it. Gonzo, obviously a fan favorite, obviously one of the the main characters. And we have Camilla right here, his pet chick, his pet, his chicken. <laughs> So let's just set him up on the stand and her as well. So there we have them. Look at the colors. Look at how bright that is. Look, oh, oh, that's fantastic. Let's get our checklist open because truthfully, I didn't even look at who all is in the line. I mean, obviously, we know we have a lot of the main characters, but I don't know who is completely filling it out. Like, we got Piggy, Bunsen, and Beaker. Oh, we got Waldorf, Statler and Waldorf. I didn't realize that. And we have, okay, just the two members of Electric Mayhem right here. Rolf with Beethoven. Oh, this is going to be so cool. This is going to be so cool. Okay, Gonzo, get over there. Let's see who else we got. All right, all right, all right. And we have... Ah! We did get one of the judges. I wasn't sure. See, at first when I felt around this head, I thought this might have been Bunsen. But I was wrong about that. We have... It's going to be just his brown suit. Some pretty decent printing on there. But it's all basically just a brown suit. And something I just noticed... Yeah, they all have bendy legs, but they're the short bendy legs. So these are all going to be shorter than a standard minifigure, which is really cool. And he has <laughs> he has his his sleeping card, his Z card, and then we have a saucer and teacup for him. Those two pieces go together. And we put that in his hand as well. Oh, wait, can we do this? Hold on. If we take that out and can he just Yeah. You can have that like that. And we have a spare one, so we get a set. We get a saucer and teacup set, which is pretty cool because then these can be used other places as well. Oop. Let's move him over and we'll put that on the stand as well. And there we have, look at that face. The bags under his eyes. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, number three. We're doing good so far. Number three is Kermit. Oh. oh. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Kermit right here. Look at the, I like the really dark black printing they did for that. I don't know what that's supposed to be around his neck, but like that collar piece. And there we go with the big open mouth smile. Oh, he's going to look great on the Sesame Street set. Because <laughs> actually Kermit was in Sesame Street as well, so he pretty much belongs there. And of course we have his banjo right here. For when he starts strumming and playing, it's not easy being green. So we'll set that there. And what is this? <gasps> oh... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Rainbow Connection, that is... Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't realize that was coming with him. Oh, that is a great piece to add in with him. I really like that. Oh, that just <laughs> that just hit me a little bit, folks. All right. And our last one. Hopefully no doubles. Let's see what we got. And we have, oh, we got Piggy, too. Oh, oh, of course, this is all glam and sparkle and shiny and fantastic. The silver slippers, the silver heels, shoes, whatever you want to call them. She has her bracelets on. Everything is shiny. Her necklace. And there's her, her headpiece, her face sculpt. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> and she comes with <laughs> Miss Piggy magazine. All right. <laughs> and she's on her stand as well. And that, that looks great. Well, here we go. We got to put these two together in the middle. And then we'll have these two. And then we're going to lower the camera. Whoop. All right, let's bring them a little closer in. That is a heck of a start to this set. We got Gonzo, we got Kermit, we got Piggy. Let's put this on the other side. So there's nothing separating them. Oh, that's a great start. Couldn't have asked for a better start right there. Gonzo, Kermit, Piggy. <laughs> I think that one's Waldorf. I always get the two of them mixed up. I'm pretty sure that's Waldorf. I think the other one is Statler. Tell me if I'm wrong. I always get their names mixed up. But that's what we got. This has just made me even more excited for the set. That Rainbow Connection piece really got me. It, it hit me, I'm not going to lie. These are going to look great on the Sesame Street set. These are just going to be a great set in general. So, like I said, there was only six of these at my store. Hopefully next week we'll get some more in, so then I'll be able to get more and we'll be able to take a look at this set because I really am looking forward to this. Gotta get Animal, Fozzie, Rolf, like all of them. These are all classics. I mean, they're the Muppets, come on. So until the next time, my friends, play well, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.